Hello friends, my name is Bhavesh and in this video I am going to discuss about the switch statement. We have seen that if one of the many alternative is to be selected, we can design a program using if statement to control selection. For example, if, uh, if x is equal to 1, print x equal to 1. If x is equal to 2 print x is 2 uh, similarly if x is equal to 3 print x equal to 3 suppose that x is one variable which is type of integer and you are taking the value of x from the user and user gives the value x is equal to 2 then what statement will be executed yes it will check that if x is equal to 2 then it is true then it will print x is equal to 2 so this is how we select the many alternatives okay but due to so many if the complexity of the program increases and the program becomes difficult to read and follow so that's why the switch is introduced which concept is introduced so syntax of the switch is so this switch is the keyword this is initial letter is small which expression case 1 case 2 default case or you can write as case 3 case 4 case 5 and default case okay so what is expression expression is a constant so here you can write as suppose x so this is expression if the x value is 1 then the case 1 will be executed here it will check x is equal to 1 case 1 the code to be executed when expression value is 1 yes our x is equal to 1 therefore this block will be executed then break then once the case 1 is executed, case 2 and default case will not executed. Okay. So next we will check for x is equal to 2. Suppose that x is equal to 2. Then what happen? It will execute the case number second and it will not execute the case number first and case default. And it will execute the code when the expression value is 2. Then what if the x is value is 3 or somewhat 4 then it will it will compare that case 1 not matches case 2 not matches the case 3 there is no case 3 then it will execute the default case okay so the code to be executed when expression value does not match with any case value so this is switch statement syntax for it. So next we will see the flowchart for the switch statement so this is the flowchart first here you have to write expression expression when value is 1 okay this value is 1 the case first will be executed when case value is 2 then case 2 will be executed when uh, similarly like that when there is no value matching with the expression then default then default case will be executed okay. so this is the flowchart for the switch uh, then we will see one program on the switch so this is an no is the type of the variable which is of type integer and we are printing on this console that enter the number so suppose that user have enter uh, one over here so then ultimately no equal to one because user have entered it so we have declare here expression that is we have given here constant expression that is no that is that's value is 1 so it will 
execute the case one that it will print i am in case one okay suppose if the user gives the value of two over here instead of one so what will it print yes i am in case two similarly like three then it will print i am in case three if the user give value of four or any value which is not exist over here that is here it is just exist one two and three so user give any value like four uh, ten uh, twenty hundred then it will just execute the default statement that is i am in default case then it will print goodbye okay so what will happen if i remove this break statement from here break statement this break statement i have removed from here so what will happen so if the user give the value that is no equal to one then it will print i am in case one i am in case two as well as i am in case three as well as i am in default case because there is no because the flow of execution is not breaking okay so that's why it will print all the case value so what if i give the number is equal to 2 that is no is equal to 2 then it will print i am in case 2 i am in case 3 and i am in case default then goodbye what if i give the number as that is no as 3 then it will print i am in case 3 i am in case default and goodbye okay i hope you have understand this concept so then next uh, this is for your assignment that program to check the vowel using switch case and similarly write a program check character enter by user is arithmetic operator or not so simply i will give you hint over here so this is for the checking of the vowel or not so case a e i o u similarly ch is the character variable which contain the user given character that is you may take it from the user that value will contain in ch suppose that user enter a it is necessary to write in the single quotation mark because it is the single character so a so then it will check a then it will execute this case a then ultimately it will print vowel anything if it is e then e then it will print vowel because there is no break statement over here okay that's why it is printing vowel so suppose the this is e not c suppose that the user give the value of c then what will what it will print so it will not print anything because in this case there is no c okay so i hope you have understand this so how can you do for the arithmetic operator instead of a e i o u you just simply write plus and remember one thing this is semicolon and this is just a colon you in the switch statement you have to write colon not semicolon okay similarly plus or minus for multiplication case for multiplication then case for division then case for modulus this, this is colon one more time i am training so this is how you can write the program for the arithmetic operator or not so try it yourself to write this both program so next we will see the range in switch so what is the syntax for it syntax for it is case as usual case low three dots with this space over here and space over here 
and high this is low value this is high value of the range okay range is like 19 to 20 so this is low value and this is high value so you have to write case 19 space 3 dots space 20 and colon so this is how you can write the case for the range so we will see correct cases uh, this is the correct cases because it has the space over here and this is characters that's why it is written in the single quotation mark and next is we will see the wrong statement that is there is no space over here so this is statement will not work write a program to check whether a number is between 10 to 19 20 to 29 30 to 39 using switch statement okay so now pause this video over here and try to write it to yourself this code for it okay uh, i will provide the hint for it to you guys so this is the switch case for it uh, because it is in the form of range that is 10 to 19 is one range 20 to 29 is one range so here 10 is low and 19 is high so similarly due to our syntax have right switch case no is just a integer variable in which you have store the value which is given through the user and this is the case 10 to 19 this is how it range in switch so if the number is between 10 to 19 it will print uh, the number that is that number in range 10 to 19 if it is in 20 to 29 it, it will print that number is in the range of 20 to 29 similarly 30 to 39 if that number is not in this range then it will print that number not in range this is the switch case of it uh, you will you have to write the whole program for it with proper syntax and all so try it yourself so thank you for watching this video